Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode number eight and be with me in the book of Hebrews. I'm going to title today, Temptation is Easy, Resistance is Hard. We're in a section where he's wrapping up uh, talking about uh, angels being so great. And we found out yesterday that it's not angels that he helps, but he helps the offsprings of Abraham. That is, he helps people. He helps faithful people. And what does he help them with? Well, the two things he's talked about so far, which is sin and death. Um, in death, he helps becomes because he becomes the, the death taster and the death counts for you. And sin, he does so as a sacrifice that counts for you. Now, in a sense, those are sort of like for the future. The one that we're going to talk about today is very much present every day, every hour. And that is the third thing he helps us with is temptation. And God helps us with temptation. And he helps us with it now. So he makes this statement about his presence and his help in this. Listen to this. Hebrews 3 Verse 18, for because he himself has suffered when tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. So who are those that are being tempted? Well, it's, 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 every, it's everybody. And what is temptation? Well, it's this testing of our souls. It's this, this asking or this nagging to step out of the protective boundaries that he has set for us. So for the for, this is what I want to think want you to think about for your mind today. At the center of this circle is Jesus and he's on the throne of grace. And then way out on the the borders there's this big red line. And on the other side and inside the border is a holy living. And outside the border is everything else, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life. All your all sins are uh, summarized in that. That's from 1 John 2, 16. Or another way that the Bible says it is the world's outside of there. And the Lord has a protective boundary and he wants us to stay inside the boundary. He wants to stay in relationship with, with him and he wants us to run towards the center. But we, we you know, we're curious and want, want to do things on the other side. They look good. They are alluring. At least they're supposedly alluring. And they... The, the temptation is when something attracts us more than our desire for God. And it's a trap that tests our affection for sin in its relationship to our affection for God. So the desire for sin, the temptation, asks us to move outside that boundary. So there is this battle. And if you're human and listening to this, then you know this battle. Or at least I hope you do, you know this battle. Because a borderless life is just a disaster. So this battle is going on, and it's universal, every person. And it's, you know, I'm exaggerating probably saying it happens always, but it's very frequent regarding holiness and sin. We all face this, and it's so uh, critical and of, of importance to the story today is that Jesus fought this battle as well. So this red line is separating unholiness or rebellion and anger and lust and all the other sins you can think of are, are outside of there. So it's universal. Every person, every, you know, every, every day, if not every hour. And the temptation is for you to move across the boundary. First of all, to move across with your thoughts, then across with your toe and then your foot and then eventually to kind of get, get lost over there. Now, this is easy. Temptation is easy. You know, uh, eating the M&Ms of, of temptation is easy, but resisting, to re engage in resistance is the difficult part. So the resistance to crossing that border is described. In fact, it's so difficult. It's described here as suffering, that you will undergo pain at the borderlands. Now, the pain goes away if you yield to the temptation. So one of my hopes for you is I hope you have pain. I hope you have the suffering of resistance to temptation. So that's all just, you know, gutting it out. But here's the great news, and don't miss this, that he is able to help us. That's the big point of today. So at this border, at your area of pain, at your pain point of resistance to temptation, Jesus tells us, hey, I've been there. 
I've been tempted. I've suffered at that border. Uh, if you turn the page to chapter 4, verse 15 and 16, we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are. And then here's the important part, yet without sin. So let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace. So run away from that, that red border that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So Jesus here did the painful work at the border of sin. He's been there. He can sympathize. He's a real high priest. He's one who knows our weakness. He had the temptation, the same temptations, and he did it perfectly. He did it without fault. So he suffered all the way through and kept suffering. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to run away from the border. We're supposed to draw near to the throne of grace. We're supposed to get help. And this is where the rubber meets the road of the reality of Christian living. So I hope that you suffer. I hope that you resist temptation. I hope that you turn and run as far away from that border uh, as you can. Because not only do I hope that you suffer, but But especially, I hope that you don't suffer alone. I hope that you allow the Lord, who is able to sympathize with our weakness, who did it perfectly, was without sin, and asks you to let him help us at that border, to help us turn and run back to the throne of grace. Thanks for listening.